Despite being born a biological male, I'm coming out today as a trans man. That means I'll be dedicating my life to having short hair, wearing pants, and walking with a swagger. Thinking of it as a male-to-male -male transition, in which I'll dedicate myself to being less of the big-headed pseudo-intellectual weakling that you know today. And you can see my transformation from soy boy to macho status here on The Daniel Natal Show. We as a society are in a crisis. Both young and old alike crave virtue, but they don't understand exactly what it is. The etymological origin of virtue comes from the Latin root word vir, which means man. It's the same root word in virility, or werewolf, which comes from virwolf, or manwolf. So virtue basically means manliness. In other words, acting like a man. Of course, not everybody wants a society filled with strong, healthy, capable males. Aristotle in Book 5 of Politics, in his section entitled How Tyrannies Are Maintained, talked about how the tyrant is terrified of the male population. In Plato's Republic, he calls the males the defenders of the society. A tyrant, needless to say, is scared of the defenders of the society, so it's his job to neutralize them. Aristotle writes about how they have to be marginalized, and if at all possible, removed from positions of responsibility and replaced with women. He writes, All these things also which are done in an extreme democracy should be done in a tyranny, as permitting great licentiousness to the women in the house, that they may inform on their husbands, and showing great indulgence to slaves also for the same reason. For slaves and women conspire not against tyrants, but when treated with kindness, both of them are of betters of tyrants. So it's a staple of despotisms that tyrants always have diversity programs to systematically remove the males from institutions. Aristotle also talks about how the tyrant discourages their association, breaks up their club, sends out informants to spy on them, etc. In addition, the tyrant also promotes degeneracy and vice. An ethical population will take him out. But if the people are as corrupt as he is, they have no moral high ground from which to attack him. Montesquieu says the same thing in the 1700s. In despotisms, schools are used to corrupt the morals. This makes for bad citizens, but good slaves.